Good morning. Thanks for joining us here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Dean Jones, and today I'm here to show you a brand new 2025 uh, Renegade Classic 45 CMR. It's a great hauler, one of the biggest, baddest super C's we can get here for you. Um, it's on the Cascadia 126. It's a 600 horse DD16. We'll just go ahead and show you what's under here. The bigger the Cascadia chassis, a Detroit 16 liter. It's got a Allison uh, 4000 behind it. It uh, boasts 1,850 pound feet of torque. Again, 600 horsepower, as much power as we can put in front of a coach here. So uh, it's a great chassis. You can actually get to any of your fluids, your air filter, your windshield wiper fluid. It's just a great freight, freight liner platform. Of course, here's where you would jump the vehicle right here. Bit positive and negative. Real nice soft close hood here. Where do I get? Where am I at here? Oh, it's it's locked somehow. Oh, we'll leave it open. Oh, here we go. There we had the, we had the lock open. There we go. Top close. This is a bunk over model. It's got a 60 by 95 inch bunk in there, we'll show you. As you come around this side, we do have nice big mirrors to see around the coach. We also have a, a curb mirror right here, we'll show you from the inside. As you see, it's got the Tatori Black Sesame Ultra Leather in there, and it's really nice on the couches and stuff, but just a great chassis. You'll notice that climbing up here you have the anti-slip treads. They're black in color now. Uh, we do have the handles to come up in this coach. It's kind of a climb, but they help you get up there. Coming down the side here, we do have the biggest Aqua Hot, the 600D. That's going to heat your coach inside and it's also going to give you unlimited hot water. It's the biggest Aqua Hot. It's a glycol system. This is where you fill your glycol. But again, the biggest one we could find. Uh, one thing about Renegade is we have a dual latch door. Uh, we have rhino lined interior uh, cargo bays. Those are gonna be durable and last you a long, long time. The Classic is one of the only coaches I know of that has an FRP body. You can kind of see it. It's not your typical fiberglass. It's an FRP and you can kind of see the burlap grain to it. This one has been supplied with a, or ordered with a nice entertainment system, Samsung 43 inch TV with the sound bar. So when you're tailgating at the racetrack, you can throw on your favorite football game or your other races and kick back under these awnings. Now the awnings up here, front to back, two Gerard multi-pitch awnings. You'll notice they have the light bar on the outside sh shining in so you can get plenty of light in your campsite. Uh, we had them open a little bit earlier and a breeze caught them and they actually went in for us. So they do have wind sensors on these awnings. Right here we're prepped for a Dometic freezer. We have the slide tray. It comes out past, comes out past your slide out here if you need to get in and get some food or beverages. It's prepped with a 110 and a 12 volt in here as you can see. Again, this is a good shot of the rhino lining. There's no partition in here. So if you have longer items, you could throw them in there. This is not a blackout package, even though the steps are black, but they have the nice chrome slam latches right here. And they're always gonna shut with those dual latches. This coach has been ordered with Starlink. So it's got a Starlink, the hardware already inside. You just gotta subscribe and you'll have internet no matter where you go. It's, it's a game changer, it really is. Uh, we have a, an air hose and I'll show you where to plug that in. And it'll, uh, it's got plenty of PSI to fill up your tires if you need to, or maybe a race car tire, what have you. You also have a 110 in here, a GFCI. Uh, we do have a, a, a code to get in and out, nice handle here. You'll notice there's a chrome uh, dryer vent up there. That's gonna be your washer and dryer inside, and it is vented. 
Uh, we have these nice Alcoa aluminum rims all the way around on Michelin's. This is a twin screw. And once we get in the cab, I'll show you, it's got some dynamic features to that twin screw in and of itself, but we'll just keep moving. We do have a docking light on the side here. This is part of your uh, Gen Y torsion hitch. We just have it in a box right here. You can kind of see it right there. It's some extra hardware if you want to go a little heavier. We have some extra tiles. And we have our vacuum system. You can see our little central vac up in here, and there's your attachments. It is an FRP body, so it's not gonna have a fiberglass back cap, which actually gives you a little bit more room inside. But it is two piece in the event you, you run into something here. Uh, you can always just replace this bottom half and not to replace the whole back of the coach. Uh, you'll notice there's LED lights around here. We do have a backup camera. We also have a Voyager camera system. So in your stacker, your race car trailer, you want some cameras inside or on the back of that, you can definitely plug that in and you can toggle back and forth on your dash for those. Uh, we do have that Gen Y hitch. With the right setup, you can pull up to 40,000 pounds with this coach. Here's your air hookups for your trailer. And we also have a little camera to kind of keep an eye on what's going on down here. You'll notice all Renegade logos are painted on. These aren't graphics. And you've got all LED lights around here. So plenty of visibility going down the road. Come around this side, we have our shore power center. Got a little port right here. You just run that through. You pull your 50 amp cord out. And when you want to put it back in, you just push a button and it winds it right up back up. We do have our transfer switch nicely on the side there. What you probably hear right now is a gigantic 12.5 quiet diesel generator from owning. It'll run this thing just like your house. It's an absolute monster generator, but it is quiet diesel. I mean, it's running right now. Another docking light. Then we have our wet bay. Real simple. I love the way Renegade does this. They actually CNC cut out all your labels here so they're never going to fade or peel. You'll always know what you're doing here. Ten years from now, it'll look just like this. We have a water filtration. We have our hose reel. This is on a, a reel too. You want to put your water in, wind it back up. We've got a place for a sewage hose, even though this has a macerator. Uh, you could also store that in there, disconnect your macerator and gravity dump it if you'd like. Uh, we also have uh, our hot water spigot, our low point drains, tank fill, city or water, whatever you want to do. We do have a black tank flush, gray and black tank dump valves. These are 75 gallons each. Your fresh water is 150 gallons. So plenty of water for your trips, what have you. We also have a little spray here with a quick connect nozzle. If you want to wash off your boots or whatever, come out here and spray some stuff off. Uh, there's also a panel where you can see your batteries, your fresh, your gray, your black. And we also have that black tank wash. If you were going to plug in cable from a, from a campground, you just plug it in right here and it goes to your TVs inside or that, that outside TV. It's a real simple, real easy to use, small, wet bay, nothing too confusing. Here we have some of our tanks, but this is where you would unhook your macerator and put your gravity tube on there. But right here, this is how you, I would dump it because it would just, it grounds it up and just pumps it out. So great feature there, much like a SantaCon. We have a little bit more tanks there. Just access to those. Under those panels, you might see your sensors if you needed to replace one. Right here we have standard with a lithium package, you get two 300 amp hours. Uh, we've added another one on this order. So we have 900 amp hours of Dragonfly lithium, two 3000 watt inverters. This thing's just, this is actually set up to run the middle AC. You have three 15,000 BTU air conditioners with heat pumps on the roof. This setup will run the middle one going down the road, you know, so you don't have to start your generator going down the road and use extra fuel. So it's a great, plenty of power. Over here, I promised to show you where you hook your air chalk up to where you want to fill up your tires or what have you. That's where you do it there. These are your cranking batteries for your chassis, for your Cascadia. You get a look up here, we do have the window awning for these big windows 
on your couch side, your theater seat side. They do have Gerard, Gerard slide toppers. They're gonna protect the slides from getting any debris in there. One thing to notice, these are bonded privacy windows. So now we've got bonded windows on the Classic and we're real happy about that. We'll come around. One thing I'll point out, the stock number on this guy is 5N240203 for reference. Just a gorgeous coach. Oh, one more thing, let me show you this here. You do have, almost passed it, sorry about that. 120 gallons of fuel, goes in right here. You have your def right here. It's a nice magnet catch panel right there. That's where you're gonna fill it up. So we'll go check out the inside. We do have side blind spot cameras. The chassis, real quick, we do have a safety assurance package that comes from Detroit. And what that, what that entails is you have an active lane assist, a lane departure warning, an active brake assist, a side guard assist. So this thing's just watching all the, the sides of this guy and it's gonna get ready to help you brake. You have adaptive cruise control. You have active speed intervention where it'll, if it sees something coming up or a pedestrian, it'll actually stop the coach. And you also have a brake hold mode where if you're stopped for a long time, you can let your foot off the brake and it'll hold the pedal. But yeah, that's the quality assurance pass package. Now let's go see the inside. This is just one gorgeous coach on the inside. I left the slides closed because there's so much room in this guy. So we have that Tory black sesame leather. Just really sets the inside of this off. It's a Rockport cabinet. Uh, one thing I'll point out here, if you turn around, the soft wall is called Houston Quartz. It's kind of a taupe wall. And if you get a, it's all soft. So it's gonna be real quiet. Look up here, you've got a white. So it's a white on quartz kind of color package. They just did a great job ordering this guy. Let me shut this door, it's nice and cool in here. But you'll notice I can get to the front of the coach. I don't have to turn sideways anywhere in this coach to come up and down. I have also have a, a nice Rockport colored step well panel so I don't fall in the step well as I'm got this thing open and I'm living in it. Uh, we have right behind you is the one of our Firefly panels. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. It's a four slide unit. Now, the, some of the dimensions on this guy while we're doing this, uh, the length overall is exactly 45 feet, bumper to bumper. Uh, we have a height of uh, 13 foot, six inches. Our width is eight foot, four inches. And the inside here, it's seven and a half feet. So seven foot, six inches. Plenty of headroom in here for the tall guys. Uh, again, fuel is 120 gallons. Fresh is 150 gallons. Gray is 75 and black is 75. Now you're gonna see the opposing slides here. Just opens this up like a custom home here. If you notice, it's only taking me a couple minutes to open this up and set it up, so. It is a bath and a half unit. There's no bunks in this guy. If you don't need bunks, I feel like this is the perfect floor plan. I really do. Especially the way this was ordered. It's just, it's just a stunner inside. Plenty of storage, as we'll show you. Really neat master bath. We're gonna start there. Everything is just put away. So Renegade's a super C company and this is one of their top three units. So that's why you just see everything's done so well in here. Uh, coming back to the bathroom, you'll see a porcelain macerator toilet. See all this medicine cabinet space with this beautiful lighting in here with that, again, that rock port finish on this maple. But look at all the storage you have in here. You got 
one corner cabinet here and another cabinet there and this would be a good time to point out um, 24's had an actual kind of an analog firefly panel these actually have digital panels now and you can do your fans your water pump all kinds of stuff there Aurora cloud solid surface countertop with the sink molded in nice stainless steel faucet and this giant shower I'm 6'1 and I just it's just massive nice teak seat if you want to sit down while you shower uh, they've matched the this masculine uh, dark tile backsplash in here as an accent with the backsplash really nice residential shower with your Delta single valve here and this is gonna match your countertops this is Aurora cloud too they did just an incredible job not the biggest master bathroom but they just they did it right uh, there's a couple options on this guy you can get dual uh, dual hanging like wardrobes with more of a dresser in here I kind of like this one better because on the, behind this TV you see you have all this hanging space and it is cedar lined I don't know if you can get a shot in there but just a great I mean you can always you can smell the cedar right now it's incredible if you want to throw shoes or there, you don't want to open your TV, you can get some lower stuff out from under your hanging garments. Another Samsung Smart TV. These actually lock with these really nice... And you've got the other side of that. We have our auto video cabinet. As you see, it's got glass in here. Nice textured glass. You can get your remotes to hit your receivers, your gaming systems, your DVD players. Nice dovetail maple drawers. Got a little cabinet there, a cabinet here, but you'll notice these drawers are all dovetailed. And they're really thick sides and bottoms. They didn't skimp at all on these drawers. And they are soft close. I mention every video, soft close isn't only nice to close, but it also snugs your drawers up to the styles there so they're not rattling around. This is an RV King. It's a uh, 66 by 80. So it's not quite as big as a King at home, but it's also not a queen. So don't let that little size fool you. We do have USBs and USB-Cs with their 110 on both sides. A nice little nightstand on both sides to put your phones. We've got a nice cabinet up here. And you have a 110 if you wanted to put a CPAP machine or something to that effect in there. And I do hold open, and it's all through there. There's no walls in here, so it's, you can put longer items in there too as well. Uh, we have windows that open on both sides. Our day shades are uh, manual. These shades are uh, right here. Let me see here. So you can kind of see this. Thing. These are power, the privacy shades. We have reading lamps. And this is kind of the old style of... Uh, KIB panel, but you can actually turn fans on, lights, and stuff like that. If you forget to, when you lay down, you can reach up and turn some stuff off. That's the old style panels, but again, you see these little digital ones everywhere. They've upgraded the whole system. The nice gray tile floor. Keep in mind, this is heated floor. And here's that stackable Splendida I was showing you the dryer vent for. going to work just like a 110 apartment stackable. It's going to work real well. Uh, we also have a privacy door to match that, new, that rock port. Solid maple door and it locks away so when you're driving you don't, you're not going to slam it going around corners. Uh, we also have a great place to put your laundry detergent and an access to your plumbing. So instead of having to cut a hole in the wall to shut your washer and dryer off if they're on the fritz or something, you just come in here and turn these valves. Great forward thinking on that. More storage here. Again, a good shot at that dovetail. Then we have this linen closet and or pantry. You'll notice there's a hanging rod up there. These, these are adjustable. So if you wanna take this out and make this another hanging closet, say you have your coats or something traveling in the winter, you could do so. Coming around. I'll Nice little robe or towel hook there. 
Uh, we have our, our mid bath. This is our traveling mode bath. It's gonna, you know, when those slides are together, it's kind of hard to crawl all over the bed, so you can just come in here. Uh, we do you know, have our shades again, a little storage up here for some toilet trees. Wayne's coating and tile all the way around, nice stainless edge. I love this two-tone padded wall system. I think that's just really nice. Uh, we have more medicine cabinet here. Again, Aurora Cloud solid surface, just like in the back. We do have another panel in here. We can run this fantastic fan or lights. We do have a GFCI. We have a little for scrubbies, a little bit more storage here and a convenient place for your toilet paper right there. Right here is kind of the brain of this guy. Um, we have our generator running, it says it right there. Uh, it's actually nice and cool in here. It was 81 when I got in here and it's already dropped that far. These 15,000 BTU uh, ACs just really get the job done. And you also see that we have the, the decorative maple plenums to match the cabinets up there, that's an order. It is ducted throughout, but the ducts are inside the slides, so you're going to get all your air down here going down the road. But back to this guy, we do have just a couple of screens, screens I'll point out. Interior lights, you have master on and off, um, rear lighting, exterior lighting. Then you have, it's a little bit light out today, so I didn't demonstrate this, but you have LEDs that can change colors all the way under the slides and under the coach, under these uh, cabinets and what have you, so you can really get this thing discoed up. Uh, here's your power management system. Um, here's your, your climate control. We have it cool, working on it. Uh, we also have, that's your floor heat. So that, that element will get this floor nice and hot, silent heat, um, your vent fans. We also have our T lift. Let's just put that lift down here. To hold it down. That's a televator, a Samsung smart TV. What you see behind it is a really nice window that opens. You can see your campsite. It's a good time to demonstrate that. But you also have your, your slides, your awnings, how I would pull that awning in and out right here. Uh, and you have your leveling here. And you also have a leveling panel up top, but uh, we'll show you that. And if you want, this, the, the cool thing about this whole system is you can download an app by hitting this PR code, and you can run the whole thing from your, from your phone, just like this, like this is gonna be your interface on your phone. So if you're out in a tight campsite and you're kind of worried about that slide hitting that tree next to you, you can go out there and just kind of look at it, make sure that you got the room that you need. Um, just a real easy to use interface. Can't go wrong with it. You learn it up your first trip, you got that thing down. So uh, new uh, refrigerator latch for this guy, kind of takes care of all three doors in one shot, and it's magnet. So you just keep it there, you don't lose it. 18 cube Samsung refrigerator, residential, French door, with that great freezer. And you also have your ice maker. Uh, you have a full length mirror, kind of gives you somewhere to get ready if you're out here. Uh, also kind of give a little bit more roomy feel. Uh, again, we have a Kind of a Euro booth that does convert into a sleeping solution. You just take this down and push it down and it's, you fill it in with some cushions that are in here, I'll show you. But it's a good way to look at these, uh, both, both these outlets with the USB and USB-C here. So charging your tablets and your laptops and whatever, uh, your phones, real easy to do. Box up, you'll notice there's two seat belts here. No seat belts facing this way, but you have a seat belt in each recliner, two seat belts in the, in the jackknife sofa over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people can be seat belted going down the, the road here. Love the ultra soft uh, black leather. Those are the cushions you fill in, your sleeping solution on both sides. You have all the storage overhead. Real nice hardware keeps those doors open when you're loading and unloading. Plenty of storage for whatever you're needing here. Then we have the MC shades that 
Yeah, these are gonna be power, these are gonna be manual. Over here we have this great theater seating. We do have a console. Has a little kind of coffee table right here. And they kick out and you can put your televator up, put the movie on or the Super Bowl and kick back and watch in comfort. Over here in the galley, again, everything matches that Aurora Cloud. You got the dark tile backsplash hand laid. There's all your manuals, but plenty of places for dishes. More places for scrubbies. Great storage in here. Now that is a woofer. It can be moved if you don't like it there, but that's part of your surround sound. But you got plenty of space for a giant trash can in there. And you have some customer service numbers here if you ever need to call Renegade. I won't forget the pantry here. We do have, this is our Starlink. This is gonna give you satellite internet throughout. We have all these nice drawers here. And real deep ones. They come way out. So this here is our panel for our our 110 breakers, something's not working. You're gonna probably find the problem here and just reset those breakers and keep moving. Two 110 outlets for plenty for air fryers and your, uh, your coffee maker and what have you. This is kind of new for, I haven't seen one of these before. Uh, once in a while, if you take a curve fast enough, you might lose something, this might open up, but they have a travel lock, lock right here that's gonna keep it shut. And we have our true induction, two burner induction cooktop. There's no propane on this coach, so it's an all electric coach. Those two 3000 watt inverters shouldn't, shouldn't have any problem with that either. So, but we have one of my favorite spots. You got a dual cutlery drawer, nice place for spatulas and stuff. And then your silverware. Here's some of your remotes to your Samsungs. And then this is your, uh, this is how you power all your MCD shades in here. See, we just want one button and put them all around down. So you can just see how well built these drawers are. Here's your water filter for your wet bay. Uh, some extra plugs for your in your Rockport color. Another drawer there. Now these are the little. Um, you see one on the end of the bed over there. You'll see one over here. That, that Aquahot 600D has got these registers all the way through and that's a boiler glycol loop that blows hot air through here. And it's real silent. It's kind of hidden in plain sight. Um, you don't have unsightly um, floor registers all over the, the coach. We also have more places to put audio video. You can kind of tell because you got the glass that your remotes can go through. And then we have a jackknife sofa for the little guys. Now coming up to the, the overhead sleeper, we do have a, a ladder here. Again, it's 60 by, what was that? 60 by 95 up there. Big heavy duty ladder. As you can see up there, we do have place to charge stuff. We do have windows that do open for a cross breeze. We also have, this is kind of a, oh, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Let me just get this past that window. Just so I can demonstrate this guy here. So this is your cutout, it is, is an option. What's nice about this is you can get in and out of your coach if you're not using this real easy, you're not crawling underneath it. So it kind of opens it up real well. These do swivel, so if you want to turn them around, kind of make that part of the conversation pit, you can do so. I'll just leave this like this for now. And we'll come see the chassis. So the Cascade is, it's a really nice, simple, it looks pretty confusing, but we'll go over some of the stuff here and show you. You do have this beautiful double digital interface. And this is your Voyager camera system. It also is just, right now it's plugged into just the camera. So it's kind of your rear view mirror. Um, but you can also toggle from that to your trailers. 
right here or your hitch. So you can go back and forth. Um, you do have a suspension dump here. Let's go. Oh, here's our equalizer hitch. It was telling us we need to put them up. So this is our, our hydraulic leveling right here. Uh, that same system powers that slide over there. But uh, at any rate, back to the dash here. There we go. Um, nice digital interface. You can kind of go through different stuff with this mouse here. See me toggling through all this stuff. I can go down. Let's go down here. So we go to the fuel. You just, just you have a little mouse right here. See it kind of going around everywhere. Over here, it controls this one. But we do have some cool features on this guy. We have our gauges. We can go to oil temperature, transmission oil, um, turbo boost pressure. We can do a lot of that stuff there. Um, this is our digital switches, our regen settings. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts to, to the Cascadia. We do have our tire pressure, but if we want to go to axles, this is the twin screw. So we've got two different functions on this guy. Uh, we have our we can lock these two together and it's going to be a typical, you know, differential where one tire is going to power more than the other. Uh, but say you're really in alert, you can actually connect them both and you can go pause attraction on both. And that's going to be done right here. You see, you've got the, the one turned on there. Then we go there. So that's how that works. Uh, we have our phone. This will, this is compatible with, uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um, we also have our, our tunes there and there's a really nice uh, navigation that's got the whole dimensions of this truck in there so it's not gonna pull you into something that's low overhanging. We do have an override on the engine limp mode. We have a regen off if you wanna wait for that. Uh, we can turn the lane assist off. Um, this is your traction. We do have a light test on the outside. Uh, utility lights in there and the footwell, you can see how it's kinda gold down there. If you want a little bit of illumination going down the road, you can do that too. So uh, real simple. Uh, we also have a trailer air supply. You can actually move it up and down. Uh, if you want to get it a little bit set up to your trailer, that's how you would do that. We have our park brake and then our trailer brake right here. This is how you can stop it, but you can also adjust it here. So it's all set up, ready to go, ready to tow. Uh, we have these really nice uh, Atlas II seats right here. If you want to look those up. Uh, air ride seats, they have air lumbar. They got the nice Renegade logo sewn in them. Uh, nice cubbies up here for storage. They're all carpeted. Just a really cool chassis. It's gonna give you all the power in the world. Uh, you're really gonna like driving and pulling with this guy. So if you have any questions about this coach or any other coach that we have, please give me a call. Uh, my name is Dean Jones. My number is 720-347-7063. Uh, you can email me at dean.jones at transwest.com. Uh, we don't get a whole lot of these in, so if this is something you're looking for, I would uh, call me sooner or later, and we'll see you next Wednesday.